Hello everyone, uh, thanks for tuning in. So in today's video we're talking about decimals and specifically we're talking about tenths on the number line. How, if you have a decimal, how can you see that on a number line? That's what we're talking about. So what is a number line? A number line is just a, a line, right? So it goes on in, toward infinity and the integers, the, the, the hash marks, the tick marks are even numbers, right? So zero, one, two, three, four. So it's the same space, it's the same value increase between each tick. So this is a number line zero to 10. Okay, but you don't just have to have number lines going by ones, you can have number lines going by three, negative three, zero, three, six, nine, 12, 15. Oh, and you can shift number lines wherever you want. We could have a number line that is from, let's say, 71, 74, 77, etc. Just as long as you have your arrows and even integers or even uh, value increases between each number. All right. This is by fives, negative 10, negative 5, uh, 0, 5, 10, 15, 20. With a number line, as you move to the right, you increase in value. So you add numbers going right, you subtract numbers going left. But what if you're trying to increase a value, but you don't have a whole number? That's where the decimal comes in. So check this out. This is a number line, zero to 10, right? But the tenths place, right? So if we have the decimal 1.4, that four is in the tenths place value, right? The tenths place. So theoretically, be between one and two, there are 10. One, two, three, you know, a lot. There's 10, right? So here we go. There's 10 additional hash, hash marks, tick marks. So looking at a number line of whole numbers versus a number line of tenths, this is what your number line is going to look like with a decimal value, with a, a, a decimal or fraction value, it's either way. So, go, go, spreading it out, making it bigger, zero to one. Look, 1.0, 1 doesn't that kind of look like 10? Yeah, it does kind of look like 10. And check it out, because we're dealing with tenths. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. What happens after 0.9? If you have nine tenths, if you add one tenth to nine tenths, if you add, if you have nine dimes and you add a tenth dime, what do you get? You have one dollar, right? You went from 90 cents to a dollar. Boom. 0 0.9, nine tenths to, to 1.0 to, to one. That is really cool. Okay. Not only, again, as long as we have even increments, you can have whatever kind of division or breakdown you want on your number line. Check this out. Zero to one. And I'm only showing the 0.5. Okay, we'll, we'll look. Here we jump by increases of 0 0.2. Zero, two, four, six, eight, ten. Ah! Zero. And then we'll count with dimes, right? Because a dime is one tenth of a dollar. So zero. 20 cents, 40 cents, 60 cents, 80 cents, a dollar. That's cool. And notice that these lines match up, right? So my marker's going out. Ah. 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8. It's the same, same thing. All right. Now, where, if we have a number line, where would we be? 1.3. Let's say we're looking for, for 1.3. Okay, so we start at 0, okay, we go to 1, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. 1 1.3 on the number line is right there. Now notice, if you have 10 dimes, you have a dollar. If you have 11 dimes, you have a dollar and 10 cents. Just because you're going by tenths doesn't mean you can't increase past 1 or past 2 or past the next whole number. It keeps going. It keeps going to, you know, infinity. All right. So let's look at this. There's three number lines. One, two, three points. We've got to label these points. So 
We're greater than one, so zero, one, two. We're less than two. So it's going to be one point, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One point seven. Makes sense. Pretty easy, all right? So here's zero, here's one. Oh, we're less than one, so it's it's going to be zero point, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Decimals on the number line is just as simple as counting the ticks, counting the hash marks. Okay, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we're greater than ten, so ten and one tenth. Ten and one tenth. There you go. All right. And then the inverse, we have a given points, right? We have four points. We need to mark the number line. Mark the number line at the following points. 1.3, okay, so we get to 1, 1, 2, 3. 3.2, 1, 2, 3, 3.2, 1, 2. And look, the 0 0.5, 1.5, 2.5, 3. This all marked. It's pretty cool. 4.0, all right, there's no decimal there. It's just four, straight up. And then 4.8, 4 4.5, 6, 7, 8. There we go. Okay, and then last, last page of this video, just showing you again, a number line broken into tenths, okay? Because there's 10 spaces between each whole number. If there's 10 spaces between each whole number, you're dealing with tenths because 10. All right, so we're showing you this same number line. If we take out one, three, five, seven, nine, what are we left with? Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Notice one, two, three, four, all right? Point two, point four, point six, point eight, 10. 20, 30, 40. Isn't that cool? You, you can turn, um, you know, 1.0, 10, 2.0, 20, because there's 20 spaces. To get to 2.0, there's 20 spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's why I can say 20, 2.0. When you're dealing with tenths, there are 10 spaces between each whole number. And then you count the ticks. You count the hash marks to get to the point that you're at. So let's say, oh, what? It's in between 2.4 and 2.6. What's in between 4 and 6? That would be 2.5. All right. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, check us out. We'll, we'll see you again next time. Bye.